Thank you for watching Inspire Math videos. Today we're going to study how to quickly divide a whole number by 125. Let's see the first question. 2000 divided by 125. Do you recall that a division can be changed to a fraction? If not, please refer to the video Fraction 8. So 2000 divided by 125 can be changed to 2000 over 125. Now, do you remember how to find equivalent fractions? If not, please refer to the video Fraction 1. Since the denominator is 125, we will have 1000 if we could multiply 125 by 8. So let's multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 8. Now let's leave the numerator as it is, 2000 times 8, and the denominator becomes 1000. We now have a fraction 2000 times 8 over 1000. We can change the fraction back to a division, so it will be 2000 times 8 divided by 1000. That is equal to 16,000 divided by 1000. Do you remember how to divide a whole number by 1000? If not, please refer to the video whole number 14. You don't really need to calculate divisions by 1000. You only need to move the decimal point three places to the left. 16,000 can have a decimal point at the right end, and we need to move the decimal point three places to the left. So we have 16 point zero 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 but we don't need the decimal point and the three zeros so the final answer is 16. now let's see the important step in this calculation we had 2000 divided by 125 at the start but this can be changed to 2000 times 8 divided by 1000 this means that to divide by 125 means to multiply by 8 and then divide by 1000. Let's see another question. 2625 divided by 125. We don't do long division because it is a division by 125. Divided by 125 is exactly the same as multiplying by 8 and then dividing by 1000. So 2625 divided by 125 can be changed to 2625 times 8 divided by 1000. 2625 times 8 is 21,000 and divided by 1000. Divided by 1000 doesn't need to be calculated. You only need to move the decimal point three places to the left, and we can place a decimal point at the right end of 21,000. And we move the decimal point three places to the left. So we have 21.000, but we don't need the point zero zero zero. So the final answer is 21. Let's see the last question. 7,520 divided by 125. Again, divided by 125 is exactly the same as multiplying by 8 and then dividing by 1000. So 7520 divided by 125 can be changed to 7520 times 8 divided by 1000. 7520 times 8 is 60,160 and then divide by 1000. Divided by 1000 means to move the decimal point three places to the left, and we have the decimal point at the right end of 60,160, and we need to move the decimal point three places to the left. So we have 60.160, but we don't need the zero at the very right. So the final answer is 60.16. Let's summarize today's lesson. 
divided by 125 is exactly the same as multiplying by 8 and then dividing by 1000. Divided by 1000 can be found by moving the decimal point three places to the left. Here are some challenge questions. Try them out. Sample solutions are linked under the video. Hope you can solve them. Thank you for watching Inspire Math videos. Please subscribe if you'd like to join our Inspire Math tutoring community. There are some related videos linked below. Thank you and have a good one.